don't panic, I don't go into it. Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Suffolk Andy here, outside uh, the big old dealers in Nittridge, Orwells. As you can see, it's quite a sizeable place. And uh, it was the Foos box that had gone. So it wasn't that bad, it didn't cost me an arm and a leg, thank goodness. And they actually only charged me 20 pound to pick the bike up, which was, uh, which was good. So, I have the old girl back again. There you go. I'm a happy bunny. It's not actually raining as such, but uh, there you go. I wasn't going to do a blog today because uh, I'm just going to ride this home, basically. But uh, this morning, when I went on uh, YouTube, I watched a blog from my mate in Australia and uh, about people fucking up his uh, YouTube account, work colleagues and things like that, putting stuff on there that were not good, and uh, accusing him of, uh, I got, you should get me bloody legs back there on these pegs now from that friggin' Virago, yeah, and accusing him of, uh, because he'd been off a bike for a while and got back on a bike, they were accusing him of uh, having a second childhood or having a midlife crisis, which is bloody ridiculous. There's loads of guys go back on bikes because they want to and they enjoy it. And one of the people actually said to him, what's that camera on your helmet? And uh, When he tried to tell them, they turned around and said, Oh, you want to film your own death? Well, if anybody in their right mind wanted to film their own death on a motorbike, you wouldn't be on a motorbike. You'd be in a friggin' mental home because you'd be a nutter. So that's not an appropriate thing to say to any blogger. And the trouble is, a lot of them don't understand. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You fucking knob! A lot of people don't understand. You see that? What a knob! Anyway, a lot of people. That shows you why we've got the bloody cameras on, doesn't it? You got these friggin' knobs. Anyway, where was I out of that? Yeah, a lot of them don't understand why we blog at all. You know, they don't understand the fraternity of us uh, motorbikers, why we do it. You know, we can, uh, we like to have that uh, bond all around the world. You know, I can't go to Australia and uh, ride my bike with the ch chap in Australia. But, uh, I can watch his blogs on YouTube and bloody well enjoy them, which I do. And all over the place, you know, Grave Digger in, in America. You know, it shows me places. I was watched one in Kansas the other day. You know, flat place and whatever, but I enjoyed it. You know, so they don't understand. And I think a lot of them, they're just bloody jealous because they can't do what we do, you know. Absolutely jealous what we get up to on bikes. I know myself. One or two people have asked me about blogging. And you can tell... When I tell them what it's all about, they haven't got a friggin' clue. But some of them will say, oh, that's pretty good. I never heard of that, you know. And others will just go, oh, why do you do it? And they haven't got a clue. You know, one person said to me, well, how much was that camera What you put on your helmet? And when I said, well, I wouldn't spend that sort of money on one of them. There's a lot of other things you could bloody buy. You know, and you think, oh, you ain't got a clue. But a lot of them, you know, they just don't understand. They're just jealous of us, you know. We get on our bikes and we enjoy our bikes. We've got that uh, camaraderie amongst us all. You know, oh, this is lovely to be back on a proper bike, mate. I tell you, I love it. And uh, 
They don't understand, they got no ideas, half of them wouldn't have the fucking guts to get on one, you know? Sad little lives. Like I say, most of them, the biggest day out is the day the bloody Tesco's to do the shopping with the old gal, you know? But what I do, when they uh, give me the negatives, I just let it go over my head. I think they don't understand, they got no idea, no friggin'. What are these boys doing when they're too late? What are they doing, you know? Sad little buggers. Anyway, I wouldn't, uh, any blogger who gets any of that sort of crap, I wouldn't let it, uh, I wouldn't let it uh, get me down, you know? I just carry on, you know, because there's plenty of us out there who do enjoy the blogs, and uh, that's the main bloody thing, you know? I'm glad I'm not out here all bloody night. Fucking horrible. But uh, still glad to get the old bike back. Anyway, that's just a little bit of a, a rant, I suppose, or whatever for what I said this morning. You know, I didn't think much of his friends for doing that and whatever. I just ignore them, mate. Let them go away. Let them go back under their stones. You get on with your blogging. Because I tell you what, there's a lot of people out here who like watching your stuff. And I'm one of them, mate. So, there you go. That's Suffolk Andy. In a crappy afternoon. In a very dull and cold sort of rain that would soak you through if you had to go far. But, a happy one. Because I've got my bike back at last. Nearly two weeks. And uh, I never got actually hammered. Money wise, so I'm happy. Anyway, that's me. Safe riding, everybody. Suffolk Andy.